Okay, let us now proceed to the sixth example in um, evaluating limits using factoring, um, conjugating, um, simplifying, or common denominator, or expanding. Ginagamit lang to guys, again, kapag ka, ang naging sagot ninyo after direct substitution is in indeterminate form or 0 over 0. So again, let's have the limit of 1 half plus 1 over x all over x plus 2 as x approaches negative 2. So all x's will be replaced by negative 2. So 1 half plus 1 over negative 2 all over negative 2 plus 2. Guys, kailangan kahit na parang alam ninyo na mag zero siya, 0 over 0. Kailangan patunayan nyo na 0 over 0 siya. Kasi, kapag ka ang sagot nyo ay not undefined, ibig sabihin, ang lumabas ay hindi naman 0 over 0 o hindi naman 0 yun nasa denominator, ibig sabihin that would be your answer. Okay? Including dyan, guys, yung mga 0 over number. Ang 0 over number, ayan, kunyari may 0 ka sa taas, tapos may number ka sa baba, like for example, any number, kunyari 15. Guys, 0 yan. Defined pa rin ang sagot dyan. Okay? So, counted dyan dito sa defined or not undefined. Pero pag ang lumabas na sagot, after direct substitution ay 0 over 0, saka ka lang gagamit ng factoring, expanding, simplifying, common denominator, or conjugate. Okay? Ngayon, kung ang lumabas ay number naman sa taas, tapos 0 sa baba, so ibang tawag dyan, that is undefined, ibang proseso rin to. Okay? So, kailangan talaga palagi nyo i-evaluate yung limit using direct substitution first para alam ninyo kung ano ang proseso na gagawin ninyo to evaluate the limit. Okay? So, yung tinuturo ko sa inyo using calculator, yung dinadagdagan ng 6 na 0 and 1, that is only applicable to indeterminate limits. Hindi nyo yung magagamit dito at saka dito. Okay? Dito lang. Yung magpa-plus ka ng um, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay? So, balik tayo dito. So, 1 half plus negative 1 half, that is basically 0. Negative 2 plus 2, that is 0. So, again, this one is indeterminate form. Dito pa lang, guys, pwede nyo nang gamitin yung calcio nyo if you want. Okay? But, kung gagamit tayo ng long cut, so, nakita natin, sobrang daming fraction. Therefore, we will use common denominator. Okay? So, pagsasamahin natin yung 1 half at saka yung 1 over x sa itaas. So, ito na sa ilalim, x plus 2. So, 1 half plus 1 over x. So, ang magiging bagong fraction yan, so 2 times x, that is 2x, okay? And then, 1 times x, that is x. So, plus dito, kasi plus 2, okay? And then, 2 times 1 is 2. So, ang bago nating fraction is x plus 2 over 2x, okay? So, napagsama ko na to, ito na siya. So, magiging x plus 2 over 2x. Magiging times na yung ating, or multiply na yung ating operation. Pero, kukunin natin reciprocal ng x plus 2. So, ang reciprocal niyan is 1 over x plus 2 because we have an imaginary 1 here. So, ang reciprocal niyan is 1 over x plus 2. Now, if you observe, ang nagpapa-zero sa ating denominator ay si x plus 2. Kasi pag ito, din, um, tinanggal ko yung x, ginawa ko negative 2. Magiging 2 times negative 2, that is negative 4. So, this one is not the problem. Si x plus 2. Kasi negative 2 plus 2, that is 0. So, cancel naman siya because of the common factor x plus 2. So, you will be left with 1 over 2x. So, palitan ko na yung x na negative 2. So, this will give us 1 over 2 times negative 2 or 1 over negative 4. The final answer is negative 1, 4. Ayan. Okay? Now, if you want to use your calculator, itong negative 2, papalitan natin ng negative 2 point, dadagdagan ng 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 1. Okay? So, magiging 1 half plus 1 over negative 2 point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1. Ayan. All over. So, itong x na to, again, papalitan ko ng negative 2 point, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, plus 2. And then, salpak sa calcu. So, magiging fraction, fraction ulit because we have fraction sa taas, 1 half plus 1 over negative 2 point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1 over negative 2 point, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 plus 2. Okay, so we will have the same answer which is 1 fourth. So, ang sagot dito, still negative 1 fourth. Okay, let's proceed to the next example. So, let us have the limit of 1 all over x plus 4 minus 1 fourth all over x as x approaches 0. So, palitan natin yung x ng approaching value which is 0. Okay, so magiging 1 over 0 plus 4 
minus 1 fourth over 0. So 1 plus 0 plus 4, that is 1 fourth. Okay, minus 1 fourth over 0. So 1 fourth minus 1 fourth, that is 0 over 0. Okay? So, common denominator na naman to, kasi maraming fraction. We have three fractions again. 1 over x plus 4, we have 1 fourth, and then the whole function is in fraction form. Okay? So, yung ilalim, that is x lang. Tapos, yung 1 over x plus 4, minus 1 over 4, pagsasamahin natin. So, this will be, so 4, the times natin itong dalawa. So, 4 times x plus 4. Okay, ayan na yun. pag pag, -pag tinag times yun sila, mamaya distribute natin. And then, ito, so 1 times 4, that is 4. So, we have minus, minus. So minus, 1 times x plus 4 is x plus 4. Okay, so 4, distribute ko yung negative, magiging negative x, negative 4. Over, so distribute ko naman yung 4, magiging 4x plus 16. Okay, so 4 times x, 4x. 4 times 4, that is positive 16. So, sa taas, guys, meron tayong 4 at negative 4. So, basically, that will be cancelled. Kasi 4 minus 4 is 0. So, you will be left with negative x over 4x plus 16. So, yan na yung ating bagong numerator. Negative x over 4x plus 16. Okay? So, proceed na kayo sa reciprocal, which is negative x over 4x plus 16. So, magiging times na to instead of divide. So, divide, ma multiplied by the reciprocal of x, which is 1 over x. So, cancel na si x. Ayan. So, sa taas, sa numerator, you will be left with negative 1. Ayan. Negative 1 times positive 1, negative 1. All over 4x plus 16. So, palitan na natin yung x ng 0. Magiging negative 1. Okay. Negative 1 over 4 times 0 plus 16. So, this will be negative 1 over 16. 4 times 0 is 0. Now, if you want to use your calculator, again, so, yung to 0 na to, yung approaching value ng x, magiging 0 0.000001. So, 1 over, okay, 0 0.000001 plus 4 minus 1 fourth all over so, yung x ulit natin is 0 0.000001. Pagpasensya nyo na yung aso. Okay. So, ayan. Lagay natin sa calcu. So, fraction. Fraction. 1 over 0 0.1234561 plus 4. Okay. Minus fraction ulit. 1 fourth. Okay. Sa ilalim naman, we have 0 0.1234561. So, our answer is still the same. We will have negative 1 over 16. So, ang final answer is negative 1 over 16, which is the same. Okay, let's proceed to the next example. So, let's have the limit of the square root of x plus 1 minus 2 all over x minus 3 as x approaches 3. So, palitan natin lahat ang x ng 3. So, we will have square root of 3 plus 1 minus 2 all over 3 minus 3. So, this one will be square root of 4. Minus 2 over 0. So, square root of 4 is 2 minus 2. That is 0 over 0. Again, in determinate form. And then, in this case, you cannot use the common denominator kasi isa lang naman yung fraction natin. And then, hindi naman yan factorable or hindi yan pwede ma-expand. So, ang gagamitin natin is conjugate since meron tayong radical. Okay? So, magiging square root of x plus 1 minus 2 over x minus 3. Multiply ko to sa square root of x plus 1. etong minus na to gagawin kong plus 2. So, ganun din sa ilalim. x plus 1 plus 2. So, ang focus natin dito guys is the numerator. Since ang radical natin nasa numerator. So, all terms in the denominator will be copied only. So, kukopyahin nyo lang. Okay? Ayan, kopyahin ko muna in denominator. So, x minus 3 times square root of x plus 1 plus 2. So, again, this one is your a minus b and then a plus b. So, ang magiging sagot ko ay a squared minus b squared. So, ang a ko is square root of x plus 1. So, pag in-squared ko yan, okay, cancel si radical. Okay? Minus, so ang b ko ay 2. So, 2 squared is 4. So, ang magiging sagot ay x plus 1 minus 4. So, that would be x plus 1 minus 4. Okay, x plus 1 minus 4 is x minus 3. Kasi, 1 minus 4 is negative 3. So, magiging x minus 3 over x minus 3 times the square root of x plus 1 plus 2. Okay, so, as you can see, cancelled si x minus 3. So, x minus 3 cancelled. 
So sa taas guys, may imaginary dyan. Huwag nyo kakalimutan, baka ito na lang isulat ninyo. Meron dyan imaginary 1 na natira. 1 over is square root of x plus 1 plus 2. Okay? So, kapag ka um, sulat nyo na yung mga remaining um, terms, palitan nyo na yung x ng approaching value. So, 3. 1 over is square root of 3 plus 1 plus 2. So, 1 over square root of 3 plus 1, that is square root of 4 plus 2. So, square root of 4 is 2 plus 2, that is 4. So, 1 fourth. Okay? So, the final answer is 1 fourth. Again, using your calculator, so, si approaching value natin magiging 3.000001. Okay? So, lahat ng values ko ng x, papalitan nito. So, magiging square root of 3.000001 okay, plus 1 minus 2 all over 3.000001 minus 3. Ayan. Wala nang conjo-conjugate. Ayan. Pagkakalcue, guys, diretso. So, square root of 3.123456 1 plus 1 minus 2 over 3.000001 minus 3. So, again, we have the same answer which is 1 fourth. Okay? Let's have second to the last example. So, the limit of x minus 4 all over square root of x minus 2 as x approaches 4. So, all x's will be replaced by 4. So, this will be 4 minus 4 over square root of 4 minus 2. So, 4 minus 4 is 0 over square root of 4 is 2 minus 2. Again, this one is 0 over 0. Okay? So, sige, try natin unahin sa calcu. So, palitan ko yung x ng 4.000001. So, magiging 4.000001 minus 4, okay, over the square root of x. So, square root of 4.000001 minus 2. So, salpak sa calcu. Okay. So, 4.123456.1 minus 4 over square root of 4.123456.1 minus 2. So, the answer is 4. Ayan, may sagot na tayo, di ba? Okay? So, the answer is 4. But, using conjugate, i-conjugate to, um, obviously, kasi meron tayong radical. So, we will have x minus 4 over square root of x minus 2. So, the times ko to sa square root of x plus 2. So, square root of x plus 2. Ayan, guys. Binago ko lang yung minus, ginawa ko siyang plus. So, again, ang radical natin nasa denominator. So, ang numerator, kopyahin nyo lang. So, x minus 4 times square root of x plus 2. Over. So, eto yung a ko. Ito yung minus b. Ito yung a. Ito yung plus b. So, ang a, square root of x squared. So, ang, ito yung a squared minus b squared. And then, ang b ko ay 2 squared. So, square root of a or square root of x quantity squared. Siyempre, makakancel yan. So, magiging x na lang. Minus 2 squared is 4. Okay? So, cancel to si x minus 4. So, we will have square root of x plus 2. O, may imaginary pa rin na 1 yan. Man. Lagay pa rin natin. Okay? And then, square root of x, palitan ko ng 4. So, magiging square root of 4 plus 2 over 1. So, square root of 4 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 over 1, that is 4. So, we will have the same answer with calculator. So, using calcu. Guys, yung paggagamit natin nito, yung pag add natin ng 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay? Applicable lang yan kung 0 over 0 siya, ha? Gamitin nyo lang to kapag ka nag-indeterminate form. Okay? Let's have the last example. So, the limit of x squared plus 6x plus 8 all over x squared plus 5x plus 6 as x approaches negative 2. So, all x's will be replaced by negative 2. So, this will be negative 2 squared plus 6 times negative 2 plus 8 over negative 2 squared plus 5 times negative 2 plus 6. So, this one would be 4 minus 12 plus 8 over, so this one is 4 minus 10, okay, plus 6. So, 4 minus 12 is negative 8, negative 8 plus 8, that is 0. 4 minus 10, that is negative 6 plus 6. Again, that is 0. So, indeterminate form. Again, you may use your calculator. So, um, unahin na natin yon. So, yung x ko, gagawin kong negative 2.123456.1. So, magiging negative 
Ay, sorry. Sobra. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1 na to. 1. Okay? Squared plus 6 times negative 2 point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1. Plus 8 over negative 2 point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1. Squared plus 5 times negative 2 point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1. Plus 6. So, salpak sa kalkyo. So, negative 2 point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, squared, okay, plus 6 times negative 2 point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, plus 8. Okay, sa so ilalim naman, so we will have negative 2 point, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, squared, plus 5 times negative 2 point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, ay 4 pa lang, 5, 6, nagdalag na siya, okay, plus 6. So, alam mo ba sa answer ay 2? So, ang final answer natin dito ay 2. Okay, now, kung long cut ang gusto, so, ito guys, hindi kayo magko-conjugate kasi walang radical. Hindi din kayo magko-common denominator kasi you only have one fraction. So, basically, ang gagawin nyo rito ay factoring. Okay? So, we will have factor ni numerator. So, ano ang pagpinag-times ko? 8, tapos pagpinag-add ko? 6. So, obviously, that is 4 and 2. 4 times 2, 8. 4 plus 2 is 6. Okay? All over. Okay? X. So, pag pinag-add ko, 6. I mean, pag pinag-times ko, 6. Pag pinag-add ko, 5. So, obviously, that is 3 and 2. Okay? So, cancelled si X plus 2. Common factor. So, you will be left with X plus 4 over X plus 3. So, palitan ko na yung X ng negative 2. So, we will have negative 2 plus 4 over negative 2 plus 3. So, negative 2 plus 4 is 2 over negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So, 2 divided by 1 is 2. Ayan. Guys, kung madali lang naman i-factor or madali lang i-conjugate, okay, kung nadadalian kayo doon, maglongkat na lang kayo. Especially, may binabagayan itong mga um, shortcut na nag a tayo ng 6 na 0 and 1. Kasi kapag ka medyo mahirap yung ating function, mabawa ito yan, magkukonjugate ka pa in everything, ayan, mag-ano ka na lang, ganito, para um, mabilis lang. Pero kung ganito lang naman kadali i-factor, okay, like this one, huwag din na kayo mag-ganito, baka mas tumagal pa kayo. Pero kayo pa rin na masusunod kung ano mas gusto nyo gawin, kung manual or long cut or yung shortcut na mag add kayo ng 6 na 0 and then 1. Okay, so that is it for the indeterminate limits. Thanks for watching!